Okay, let's say you have the order online page and your text for your categories is too long and your customer, you want your customers to be able to read the entire text and it somehow it doesn't fit or it's too long. So what you want to do is first take a look at how you name the items and then go from there. So as looking at this online order page, I can, I can see right away that the name online does not need to be there. Your customers already know they're buying it online. So there's no point of mentioning online family, online pork, uh, online whole. These things can be removed. Uh, just get right to the point. You can call it chicken combo, family six meal, online pork combo. You can change that to pork combo. Let me show you how to do that. So you go in the back end, you click on Clover Orders uh, Settings on the left hand side, and then click on Categories and Items, and you can change that name. So, for example, Online Beef Combo, get rid of the online, just call it Beef Combo because you don't need that word. People already know they're buying it online. You can just call it beef combo. Online chicken combo, you don't need the word online on there. Just call it chicken combo. Online family, you don't need the word online either. So do it for all of them like that. Remove the word online. And then once you do that, refresh the page and see if it looks better after you do that. There's no save button. Once you do that, you just press, you just, you just refresh the website. And if you want to put in a different order, you can always just drag and drop it and put it in a different order. But let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. Oh yeah, by the way, you can also rearrange the items by pressing a plus button here and moving it up and down. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at what it looks like now. I'm going to refresh the page. I remove the word online. Okay. So now see how we have, you know, now it just says two meat combo, three meat combo, beef combo, uh, chicken combo. I move the word online. See how it looks much better now because you don't need that word. Let's say perhaps after you change the name and you make it as short as possible and still doesn't fit, then the best option is to change it, use a different store interface. We have many different store interfaces you can choose from. So click on store interface and choose store interface 4 and then press save changes. Okay, and once you press save changes, uh, you can see that store interface 4 allows you to put extra text on the category names. So let's, let's see, see over here you can put additional text if you need to. Okay, so you can see you can you leave it like that and it fits the whole uh, section here okay so if you still need more space all you have to do is use store interface 4 because store interface 2 is set up differently um, if, and it's not meant to display a lot of text on there because the way it's set up is to work for mobile phones iPhones uh, smartphones tablets and is designed in a way that it works on all those tablet on all those platforms but if you want additional text to be on there, just use store interface four. Okay, let's say you de let's say um, you deleted some items from your inventory and it still appears on the Clover. I mean, still appears on the online order page. What you want to do then is click on Clover orders items images, and then type in kids or whatever item you may have that you that you just, that you um, deleted from your Clover inventory app, but yet still appears on the website. Let's say you deleted uh, kids meal and it's still showing on the website, just click right here, hide from website. That's it, now it's gone, it won't show on the website. And let's say later on you wanted it to come back, go back here and then press uh, show in website. So you can do it this way in case the clean inventory feature does not remove all of the inventory that was deleted, you can go here and just type the name and, and then remove it from the clover. Okay, so let me go ahead and uh, rephrase what I just mentioned here. Uh, Story interface 4 allows you to put additional category text Store interface 2 is limited in character count, but if you must use it, I would recommend simplifying the name with store interface 2. I'll go ahead and put it back to the default, which was store interface 2, from which you from what this merchant had before. And uh, after seeing this video, you, you want to use store interface 4, just click on it and press save changes. I'm going to go ahead and put it back to where it was before. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, thank you for your time and thank you for using a smart online order.